Hey, what's up everybody? It's Daydreams. Welcome back to the channel for another Clash Kings video. If you're new here, hit that red subscribe button down below. We do daily videos here on the channel. And guys, I just wanted to let you know that we're going to be doing the live streams from now on on Twitch. Um, I had a little situation where a news network um, claimed my stream where I was going over like election coverage and stuff. It's a big mis misunderstanding and everything, but until I get it cleared up, they like basically took away my... Uh, streaming privileges on youtube so i'm super salty about that but could be a blessing in disguise um i'll leave my link to twitch in the description and we're going to be streaming the dragon campaign tomorrow at 10 p.m eastern standard time i'll probably upload a video tomorrow at like six letting people know um just so that we can guarantee to have at least a handful of people show up but uh yeah it should be fun over there on twitch so guys um a couple of people asked me on Twitter today, like, how I got my start in Clash of Kings. So I thought, you know what? I'll go ahead and tell you guys how I got my start in Clash of Kings. And then you guys can tell me and everybody else in the comment section below how you got your start in Clash of Kings. So, now I know there's some amazing love stories and everything on Clash of Kings. I'm not one of them. Basically, I was just, um, you know, I had a Amazon Kindle Fire. It's just like a $50 tablet. And um, I was opening it and they have like if any of you have an amazon kindle fire you'll know that when you like open up your like home screen it has ads on it there's like ads that pop up and i saw an ad for clash of kings so i think i like accidentally clicked it and then it was like showed like um you know what it looked like inside the game and that it was a war game and you guys know i'm a huge age of empires fan i've been playing rts war games you know for about i don't know um 17 18 years long time since i was a kid i've been playing rts war, war games and before i even had a computer in my room um which i had a computer in my room before i was a teenager i was really young with the internet and everything trust me i was a, a, a savage online um <laughs> i'm not even going to go into that maybe for another video that'd be really funny i could show you some old stuff uh but basically I've always played that. Even before I had a computer, I was playing like Risk, the board game where it's about war. So I loved war games. I saw it, looked great. So I downloaded it. Okay, I downloaded it. I started playing it for about two or three days. And, you know, I was growing all right. I was at like a level nine or 10 castle. And then I go to YouTube because, you know, I love YouTube. And I type in Clash of Kings and some picture shows up and I see some guy saying that he's going to stick it down someone's throat because they backstabbed him and uh he was yelling and acting wild and that was none other than bowsy bows himself and uh when i seen that i was like wow this is awesome so i actually learned how to create a farm from bowsy i got on i went and seen that and then that's when i just got like balls deep in the game that's when i started like uh really getting into everything uh, testing out layering, getting into, um, you know, troop statistics. You guys got to remember this was a year and a half ago. This, the game was very simple then. Very, it was over a year and a half ago. God, this was two years ago. Almost two years ago. Um, the game was so simple back then. It was, you had a level 30 castle. None of this prestige stuff. Um, you know, when I started the game, you, when you were on a resource tile and you got attacked, it was just like being attacked in your castle. It was deaths. On both sides, it was deaths. There was no wounded on resource tile. You uh, you took deaths on resource tiles, which is super annoying. I'm really glad they changed that. And, um, you know, these monsters weren't around. Like, the biggest monsters um, were the lava giants, I'm pretty sure. And, uh, yeah, in my kingdom. Now, maybe it would have came later, but we didn't even have the griffins. It was just the lava giants. Um, everything had a little bit of a little different look. It wasn't quite, quite as crisp, but they've definitely upgraded the graphics engine. Now, you probably don't notice it, um, but, like, these little trees and stuff right there, that wasn't in the game. Um, of course, everything, like, around the screen. You can go back to some of Bowsy's old videos. Go back to some of Bowsy's first videos, and you'll see kind of what it looked like back then. Um... But yeah, and everything, there were no wings. It was level 30 castle max. And uh, fell in love with the game. Um, I think the best part about this game isn't the game itself. It isn't the mechanics itself. It's this feature right here, the alliance. It's the people that you get to meet, all the friends that you make. I mean, I have chat groups with all my friends that I've made from Clash of Kings. And of course, I have you guys too. So 
Uh, but even if I didn't have you guys, it, you know, you meet so many cool people in the game. And yeah, you, I, I know that I'll have friends for a very long time from Clash of Kings. And, uh, you know, a lot of people say the term real life friends and real, you know, real life friends and internet friends. Everyone's just friends to me, okay? I don't make a distinction between that because, you know, even though we're on a computer, it's still life. That's why bullying and things like that aren't cool even if it's on a computer internet bullying is the same as real life bullying yeah you might not get beat up cause it could be even worse getting but that's a whole nother can of worms i'm not even gonna go there maybe in another video i'll go over like a bullying video but yeah if you're a youngster in this you're watching this none of my friends bully people i never bully people and uh yeah just be a good person trust me when you're an adult bullying isn't cool like there's no cool bullies when you get older so if you're a kid you see someone getting bullied do your best to step in i know that you know you don't want to get bullied yourself but if you have the ability to step in like if it's a friend of yours bullying someone stop them and uh yeah guys that's how i got into the game so I, i'm curious to see how you guys got into the game as a matter of fact i'm gonna ask balzi to reply to this and tell us how he got into the game because i think that would be a very interesting one to know maybe he'll make a video about it that'd be great um and we can uh make a deal about it so guys either Leave a comment in the comment section down below telling us how you got into Clash of Kings. Or if you want to make your own YouTube video about it or Twitter video about it or Facebook video about it, leave the link down below and um, I'll approve the links so that everyone can watch them. And we can see how you guys got into Clash of Kings as well. You could shout out your YouTube channel or Twitter or Instagram, whatever you guys want to do. I'm here to help everybody out. Uh, that's uh, what I've got for today, guys, how I got into Clash of Kings. I might do a like um, video going into, you know more aspects of how i got into it and like i could go over like you know from when i started to where i am now like a storyline um that'd be pretty cool i could do draw my life of clash of kings how funny would that be that'd be great um so yeah guys as you can tell i'm basically thinking of video ideas to do while um there's kingdom peace in 440 and um you know i'm waiting on events we got the dragon campaign tomorrow then we're gonna have to wait all the way until next wednesday for the ancient battlefield then the dragon campaign of course friday and kingdom conquest saturday i will be doing event one of these dragon campaigns if i can find a time when there's not like a football game on past eight o'clock because there's been night games the last two uh drag or kingdom conquest just bad timing i want to do like a either a 12 or 24 hour live stream where i just stay on to just try to go savage mode for 24 hours straight um get a lot of mountain dew uh maybe a couple red bulls and see if we can pull it off um guys if you have any video ideas please let me know in the comments section below video ideas that i can do without killing anyone now of course i do have my beta account still it's just such a pain in the butt to record on it but i am going to start doing at least two or three probably two or three maybe four videos a week in beta i've got a lot of testing that i can do uh there's a 75 million power castle i can hit if you guys want me to hit it so yeah guys let me know what you want me to do I love making Clash of Kings videos for you guys. Um, I do have two people um, that have hit me up saying that they want me to come to their kingdom. They've got castles lined up for me. Um, you know, a couple pretty nice castles too that I would be able to do some work with. Even though they've got like a 75 million power player in their kingdom. Still, if I've got a 25 million power castle, I can do work. And I promise you, I'll be able to, I'll be able to turn things around that kingdom. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Teamwork does make the dream work smash the thumbs up button if you guys want to watch a couple cool videos i got a clash royale video in the bottom left and two clash of kings videos on the right um you know what i'm gonna put one of my classic favorite videos if you're new here hit that video in the top right corner that's my classic favorite video that i did on this channel so thank you guys so much hit that subscribe button right in the middle of the screen i'll see you guys tonight with the dragon campaign live stream peace out